Hi everybody. So this video deals with uh, something really, really cool. So we're doing the permanent wiring for the uh, Garmin magnetometer that's going to go into the right wing. Okay. So the original wiring harness that comes with the wing kit uh, for the right wing has two bundles, right? There's a bundle that goes out and that's for the autopilot servo. All right, and then there's a second bundle for the lights and everything. That That's all been removed. I have the one for the autopilot servo still in place because it does wire up for Garmin pretty well. Although we still have to work on that, and you'll see that in later videos. Uh, but what the uh, harness doesn't account for is doing something like having a magnetometer out in the wingtip. So basically the CAN bus terminates at the, uh, at the autopilot servo out in the right wing. So what you see me doing here is I'm actually making all the wiring and a connector for the magnetometer that's going to go into the right wing tip. In fact, here's a picture of that here. Uh, the only thing that's missing from this picture uh, is so the, the CAN bus, the shielding for the CAN bus gets grounded at every garment box. Right? You take the shield and you put a ring uh, a ring terminal on it and then you connect it to the actual back shell right uh, for that you need number eight size screws with number 32 thread so eight by 32 and I've got a bunch of them like quarter inch or actually uh, not quarter inch five sixteenths so you need those uh, they unfortunately don't come with the connector kit or if they did someone stole them from me because I don't have any so I've ordered a bunch but that's the only thing I've left to do is to properly connect the ground so, <clears throat> the project that we're working on now, so it's kind of a sub-project, right? It's more of a proof of concept, and it's a confidence builder. Uh, we've made the bracket for the GMU-11, the magnetometer, you've seen it. What we're going to do, and now we're not going to permanently mount it yet, but we are going to put it in position out on the right wing. And what we're going to be doing is wiring up the magnetometer in the right wing. Right, we're going to be doing it proper. Uh, we're going to be bringing the CAN bus and the power out to the right wing. And on its way back down the wing, we're going to splice the CAN bus into the CAN bus wire that goes in for the uh, roll servo. So that's going to that's gonna require removing pins from the uh, from Van's wiring harness because they terminate the CAN bus at the, at the servo. We just need to splice it in. So there's you're, you're going to see some more of that. Actually, I'm going to go work on that to finalize that this afternoon. And then we're going to bring the CAN bus back down the wing, which it already was. But we're also bringing the two power leads from the magnetometer down. And then we're going to connect it all up at the wing root. Uh, we're going to connect the G3X system up. Uh, just as you saw me kind of do it on the workbench. We're, we're going to do it, we're actually going to do it in the plane. And connect the, to the CAN bus that's in the wing. All right. so this is kind of a, this is a proof of concept for a few things. Uh, here you can see my buddy Ted's over, and we're checking out the wiring that I'm talking about. Uh, one, we're going to be firing up the G3X in the fuselage, which is cool. Two, we're going to be having it connected to the uh, right wing. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the actual connection that goes out of the proper wing route from the fuselage. We're just going to drape a wire outside of the panel, but that's, hey, look, baby steps. And then three, we'll be able to do the magnetic interference test. And so we're also going to put on a wingtip. So we're going to have the lights going. We're going to have the the, uh, the leading edge, the landing lights going. We're going to have everything going and then test the magnetic interference from the magnetometer. If everything works out right, glory, glory, hallelujah, we're good. We can forget about it. And then essentially the wiring for this wing will be done. Uh, I know that's... I know it's only three steps, and it doesn't sound like a lot, but believe me, it's a lot. i got to splice into the connector. We've got to run the other lines. I have to redo both 12 connector Molex pins at the wing roots to accept uh, the lights and the wiring. have got to do all of that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, hell, I mean, I have to basically install the G3X system into the panel, even though not permanently, temporarily, just to make sure it works. So i got to get a power system in there. It, it's it's a lot, you know. This this ain't happening tomorrow. But this is this is this is my next like milestone. 
getting power to the system in the plane and then checking the magnetometer. I do that and it'll be a good January because look for me it's January 6th even though you're not seeing this until the end of the month. By the time you see this by God I hope to have this uh, accomplished so Ooh, that was a lot of that was a lot of material to go through. Anyways, I'm going to let it trail on out. Uh, like I said, we're just doing all electronics from here until the finishing kit gets here, which no, it has not gotten here, so continued patience, everybody. Uh, Happy New Year, even though it's February probably for you, and I'll see you soon.